No one knows how long safety measures for the coronavirus will need to stay in place, but it presents the perfect opportunity to protect and improve your health while you're at home. You can still eat well while minimizing trips to the supermarket. We sat down via Zoom with SDSU Family and Community Health Field Specialist Jennifer Folliard to chat about how we can stock our pantry shelves with nutrition in mind. Thanks so much, Jen, for joining me here over Zoom today. Thanks for having me. It's quite an unusual situation. Thanks for accommodating and really glad we can get this information out. It's definitely different. How have you been doing? We've been doing really well. Yep, family is here and we're doing our social distancing um, with the outside world. So I think we're, we're abiding by guidelines. Good. Well, one way to, you know, manage your way, navigate your way through this is having pantry staples. Can you just start off by explaining what these pantry staples are? Absolutely. So when you're thinking about staples, you want to have at least 14 days of um, meals sort of prepped or food available to make meals. Um, so when you're thinking about your, your, uh, your shopping list, this could be fresh, it could be frozen, and it could be, you know, what you would typically think is in your pantry, your canned and your shelf stable items. Okay. So what we're buying, if we're buying a bunch of this, the first thing you put in is the first thing you should be using. Do you have any tips for organizing this? Yeah. So I think when you're thinking about fresh in particular, look at some of the dates as far as, you know, if you buy asparagus, that is probably going to last maybe two to five days. But if you buy something like cauliflower, that could last up to two weeks. Um, so when you're thinking about your veggie purchases, think about, you know, how fast do these things spoil? And you know what, SDSU Extension has a great list of vegetables and fruits and sort of their um, quality date, typically, on their website. So maybe try to stick to those ones that have a longer lasting yeah. time span. Okay, so let's talk about the different food groups now for the pantry staples. Yeah, so when we're thinking about pantry staples and you're thinking about that 14-day meal plan or um, being prepared to, to stay in and do 14 days of meal prep, you, you still want to consider your My Plate graphic. So you're looking at fruits, veggies, proteins, grain, and dairy. In your dairy group, you can find shelf-stable milk. Unfortunately, I didn't have any at my house, but I did have these shelf-stable little yogurts, um, okay. which means that you know they don't need to be refrigerated. Same with shelf-stable milk. You can do evaporated milk, and you could also do powdered milk in the dairy group. Um, something else to consider um, when you move on and you do when you're talking about protein, you can do the. I think everybody thinks of the tuna or the canned meat, but eggs, you know, can stay in, in your refrigerator for at least 14 days. So while the quality might go down a little bit, you can still use them, and they're safe to use. The okay. other thing that I think people always think of is peanut butter and you know, if you kind of back up from that, nuts are also a great shelf-stable protein for you. Um, veggies, always you have the low-sodium veggies um, that you can get in a can. You can add those to any casserole. You can add them to any stir-fry. And you can always do, you know, the frozen veggies and the frozen, the frozen fruit really are frozen at peak freshness. And so sometimes um, they can taste, I mean, they can taste even better than fresh sometimes. Fruit uh, is anything that's low or no sugar added. Um, and, you know, I have our big bag of frozen berries here. Uh, it's a great uh, dessert item. Um, you know, frozen berries with a little bit of yogurt is what our family goes to as far as dessert. You can do raisins. Um, we do have, we also have for my daughter who's two, we have her little applesauces that are shelf stable. Um, and so you can find a variety of fruits that aren't necessarily fresh, but frozen and shelf stable. And I think we all sometimes think that myth about how if it's frozen or canned, it's not as good for you, but really it's the same. It's the same. Yeah. And, you know, I think you just want to make sure that you're thinking about quality. Um, right. You know, frozen fruit, you might want to use within a couple months. Um, same goes with like if you were to freeze any of your meat or leftovers, you might want to do that. If you have a roast, um, you can let that go for up to 12 months in the freezer. And all that information can be found at USDA. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about meal prepping tips now because planning your meals out and prepping ahead of time can be beneficial during a time like this. Absolutely. And I think, you know, what's happening in our family is that we're spending a lot more family time together. And we're doing a lot more family meals, which is 
great, um, but we're needing to plan a little bit more. And so what we're doing at the beginning of each week is we're setting aside about 30 minutes to look at our week ahead and plan some of those meals. Um, we make a list of all the meals, the main dishes, the sides and the snacks, and we try to engage actually my daughter um, and her grandparents who are staying with us at this time. Um, in the meal prep and what we're planning for the week. Now, when we're making these meals and storing them, yeah. is it best to make freezer meals that you can put in the freezer or is it okay oh, to yes. do fridge? Yeah, I mean, you could make freezer meals and if you're busy and hectic and these schedules and the routines are so different right now, freezer meals are a great option. Do cooking um, over the weekend and make a big lasagna, make a casserole, put it in the freezer and thaw it out. And where can we go to get some recipe ideas to use our pantry staples? Well, so we have a great newsletter that goes out every month. It's called Family Food Sense, and you can find it on the SDSU Extension website, which I think is extension.sdstate.edu. We also have a huge list of recipes that are available. They're all low cost, and they're all um, healthy and balanced. So. I would check that out. We also have a ton of just tips and, and tricks on meal prep, planning, budgeting. And in this time of you know, um, disruption and disrupted routines, we also have a lot of uh, resources regarding health um, and mental health as well. And I just want to ask, what is your favorite pantry staple meal that you make? Yeah, so I was saying we, we have been doing our smoothies at night, which is great, yeah. um, which is really fun. My daughter really likes making them, and um, she asks for her smoothie every night. So we just take the frozen um, berries, or we do, we do also have frozen um, strawberries and banana mix. And we just mix it with milk in the blender, and she thinks it's the coolest thing since sliced bread. So um, we have been having that every night for dessert, and um, right now that's our favorite. Sounds delicious. Well, thank you so much, Jen, for joining me here today, giving us some tips, and I hope you stay safe and healthy. Thank you. You, you the same. Thank you.